Wrap the Venigo device around your calf and secure the hook and loop to hold it in place. Make sure the wrap is snug, but not too tight. Follow same instructions to apply to other leg. The note to users, the external control box should be on the outer portion of your lower leg. Also, the on off button should be more proximal to your knee. If not, you probably have the unit upside down. Hold the on off button for approximately 1.5 seconds to turn on the device. The buzzer will sound once the device is powered on. The digital display shows the accumulated working time for two seconds and the green indicator under the on off power button lights up. When the battery is low, the light indicator is changed to yellow. To turn the device off, press the on off button approximately one and a half seconds for it to turn off. Remove the three hook and loop tabs from each device. It is recommended to turn the device off prior to removing the device from the legs. After turned on, the device first displays the accumulated working time for two seconds. Afterward, the device starts inflating, and meanwhile, the display shows the real-time inflation pressure in order of 0 to 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 after reaching the maximum pressure of 50 mmHg. The device remains at 50 mmHg for 0 to 4 seconds and then starts deflating. During deflation, the display of pressure is changed from 50 to 0 and keeps flashing until the next cycle starts. Note, a complete cycle of inflation and deflation and rest takes approximately 60 seconds. When the light is green, the battery is fully charged. When the light is orange, the battery has approximately 50% remaining. When the light is red, the battery has less than 25% charge remaining. One full battery charge should allow the unit to run eight to 10 hours, depending on the life of the battery. When the battery power drops below a critical level, the red light under the on-off button keeps flashing quickly. Meanwhile, the device stops working. The digital display shows LO and the buzzer keeps beeping for 10 seconds. Unless the device is connected to the charger within 10 seconds, the device turns off automatically. To charge Venigo, plug in the power cord into the power port at the bottom control box on each unit, then plug other end of cord into an electrical outlet. The device will be charging when the green battery light is flashing. A full battery charge will take four to six hours and the green battery light will no longer be flashing and just showing a solid green light. Note to users, you can use the Venigo device while the devices are charging. Take extreme caution that you turn both devices off and disconnect the power cord from both units and the wall before getting up.